A tough job ahead for the jury in a Spokane police officer's excessive force trial. And one question that will determine his guilt or innocence. Well, now to our coverage of a Spokane police officer on trial as Carl Thompson's defense rests its case today. Thompson left the stand after telling the jury he did not violate AutoZone's civil rights inside a Spokane convenience store. That's where KXY4's Jeff Humphrey joins us live. And Jeff, was Tom Thompson convincing? Well, Mike, prosecutors were never able to rattle this veteran officer, although Thompson did have to admit that some of the things he told investigators about what happened here five years ago were errors. The jury was then sent home early for the day, and attorneys began arguing over the juror instructions that could easily make or break this case next week. This grainy surveillance video is still clearly the most important piece of evidence in this case. The recording known as United States Exhibit 1 shows Carl Thompson chasing down a person he thought was a robbery suspect and wasting little time hitting that person with a baton. Thompson has testified he had to act swiftly to keep AutoZem from escaping or using other customers as human shields. But the United States alleges Thompson's rush to use force was a violation of Zem's civil rights. Thompson testified tasering Zem was justified because Zem was fighting him, punching or kicking the officer while Thompson was on top of him. However, under cross-examination today, prosecutors pointed out those blows are not seen in the surveillance video. Thompson disagrees, saying there's a total of 49 seconds where Zem is on the floor and not visible in the recording. Also today, attorneys began arguing over which instruction should guide the jury's deliberations. Proposed Instruction 12 says the jury must find Thompson acted willfully with a bad purpose to deprive Zem of his rights. Defense attorney Chris Bugby, who represented other officers called to the stand, says the United States is facing a tough burden of proof. The real force of this defense is that if there are injuries to the head, it, they were not done intentionally or willfully. But during a time that Officer Thompson was trying to um, detain Mr. Zem and he was facing resistance. Although today a rebuttal witness for the United States and an expert in use of force issues say that Carl Thompson misdiagnosed the need to detain Otto Zem here at the Zip Trip and that Zem had the right to refuse the officer's commands. We expect our last round of rebuttal witnesses on Monday and then this case goes to the jury. Reporting live in North Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.